Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So, um, starting off with Euro USD as normal, and uh, you can see we are flirting with this uh, level again, and uh, this is 118.780. But if I look to the left, you can see quite a bit of uh, so, sort of uh, testing of the level here. We had found support there, uh, found support a little bit further back as well in time. And I also found resistance quite a, quite a bit back in time. So that is a fairly strong level at the moment, which does look like we're bouncing. Uh, trend is down. Only thing that concerns me is the trend line has been broken and oscillators are heading towards the top, but not quite in a position that makes me suspect we need to really be worrying about um, continuation to the downside. So if we move across to the one hour, you'll see we have, um, we're flirting with the level, as I said, but we have broken through the moving averages. So there is a potential for a trend reversal. And I'm going to just pick up one or two levels to the downside that we need to pay attention to. So they are uh, 118.584 and 118.500. So 118.500 is pretty much the area that I'd be watching. Draw in your trend line here. You'll probably find that it intersects them. There we go. So somewhere in this area, if we start seeing some bullish price action, there's an opportunity to buy into this. So this could be a trend reversal at the moment. And uh, if you look to the back, uh, look left, you can see head, sorry, shoulder, head, bigger head, and this could be forming a shoulder. So um, opportunities to buy potentially at 118.500 or alternatively a break and retest of 118.780. Uh, but it does look like a trend reversal. So that's something to pay attention to today. Um, moving on to USD, JPY, so US dollar, Japanese yen. And uh, similar kind of scenario here. We have come back to test this area on the 8 hour, which is 109. 800 or 109,830. So we've come back, we've had a deep pullback into this area, but we do have a potential area of resistance at 110,400. Haven't got there yet. Uh, oscillators are grouped to the downside, indicating we should be looking for opportunities to buy. But in on the hour, you can see our trend is down at the moment. So for me, I'd be looking to sell into this around 110,400. Uh, with a stop above these highs over here. So that's kind of what I'd be looking for. So stop above 110,820 and I'll be looking to sort of buy a sell into this off 110,400. So um, we are indicating that we have dollar weakness coming. So that is kind of the view that I've got. Oscillators all over the place. Nothing really to write home about, but I suspect we can have some kind of a squirt up to find some form of resistance and it's going to be in this zone as far as I'm concerned. So between 110,500 and 110,400. That is the zone that I should be waiting for a short. Um, Japanese, sorry, uh, British pound, Japanese yen. So um, very interesting one this. Uh, we have a confirmation of a trend reversal, but then we rallied all the way through levels and the first level here was 152575 and uh, we blasted through that without too much um, resistance and what I'm looking at next is if you look the left look at this area of uh, what was support and we haven't really had a decent retest of it so this is the area we'd be paying attention to 153450 and if you come down to the hour you'll see uh, well, Friday was a pretty solid rally. Uh, we were behind, below, the, below the moving averages. We are now above them. We've got a crossover. So um, yeah, there's a, I think it's a, there was a little gap here as well. Let me just double check that quickly. Um, no, I must be mistaken. It looks pretty smooth. So, no real gaps there. So for me, anyway, this is a situation of pullback and then an opportunity to buy. So um, it does look like we've got a bit of a trend, uh, kind of a reversal. It was heading towards the downside for two, three days. So um, 
that's kind of the view that I've got here. So you see what happens at 152.500 or 152.575, somewhere around there. Um, you can also just pick up the levels to the left here and you'll see that's 152.774 and that would retest the 155 EMA. So pull back onto structure, uh, consolidate a bit and then a continuation to the upside. Uh, or alternatively, we're going to break through these levels, test them and then move all the way back down to the downside. But I think personally that was a fairly strong bounce off the bottom and uh, you can see that it's been in this upward trend for so long and now we've got this, um, this volatility that's come into it. So this is a critical area here because getting above here will get above the moving averages again. But at the moment it is looking like a continuation to the downside on the 8 hour. But uh, the 1 hour is not agreeing with that. So you know, be a little bit cautious and wait to see what happens in this zone. Um, obviously, uh, if we're going to get below that, I'd want to see a retest and then continuation to the downside. So this is the area that I'm paying attention to, 152,770, uh, 152,570. So see if price can hold itself in there. If it can, then you're looking to get back to 153,456. Um, if it can't and it dropped below here, looking for the structure for a continuation to the downside. Um, Euro British pound, uh, we are range bound. There's no two ways about that on the eight hour. You can see it has been a sort of a, a drifting lower range trend type thing and every time we get up to the 155 it just basically uh, sells off again so um, we did have a fairly good london breakout strategy in play on uh, friday you can see when we did the video drew that uh, was what was the potential range and you can see we did break and retest it and then just fell away completely. So we are bottom of range, so I wouldn't be wanting to chase uh, shorts here. I'd want to be waiting for an opportunity higher up and the current higher up at the moment is 085700. So see if price can get back up to this area and then you'd expect a move to the downside. Um, it could get higher up as well. That's, the, that's basically what this market has been doing. So you just need to pay attention to your levels and watch price action. You can see there was indication, big up, big down, big up, big down range. Break of that is your opportunity in, there it is there. And same way, consolidation, break. So that's exactly what I'd be looking for. Uh, not looking to be long, looking to be short, but short higher up. Anyway, that's it for, for Forex. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.